Medical students and first responders in the middle of really very realistic training there. They are we're training for an active shooter situation in Kearney Mesa. The 10 News reporter Mary McKenzie is on a movie set where they are using makeup and props to make the mass casualty training as realistic as possible. It's a week long training for medical students and for first responders, some from out of state, some from right here in Escondido. They come to a movie set for today's exercise, a simulation in this case of a party. First an explosion, we were given safety glasses and earplugs and then gunshots. We use all the movie making techniques to make live training extremely realistic. Patients are carried from the scene by first responders into ambulances. Then taken to a mock ER where medical students have to quickly assess and treat them. They learn better, they retain better. Well, okay, what would you, how would you do it? Why do we not have to use RH negative on him? Because he's not a female. Very good, okay. The blood may be fake, but the adrenaline is very real. Some of the students that were working on him were shaking. Their hands were shaking. The reason for that is when you get uh, adrenaline into the bloodstream, it goes down and creates cortisol, and you lose your fine motor skills, you have auditory exclusion, you have tunnel vision, and you lose your ability to remember what you've learned. They're put to the test here so they can be better equipped when faced with a real scenario. I think they're doing quite well. I mean, you know, for these students, this is really their first exposure to this kind of serious clinical uh, cases. I'd much rather be in here for an entire year learning like this versus sitting at a desk looking at a computer. They're tested after the exercise on recognizing all of the tools they had to get to know and a self-assessment on how they handled the pressure during this very realistic exercise. We're in Kearney Mesa, Mary McKenzie, 10 News.